What's up people, this is Sohra with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. In the last three episodes, we have looked at some of the different aspects that are used to create AI in Unreal Engine 4. In this episode and the next one, we will look at the last piece of the puzzle, which is animation. Hopefully afterwards, we will put it all together to create a fully functional NPC from scratch in Unreal Engine 4. First, a short introduction about the importance of being able to set up animations. As much as setting up the AI for our character is important, being able to set up the correct animation is also equally important since animation is what visually represents what the character is doing to the player. So to demonstrate this, let's take a look at our player character which comes with the UE4 third person template. So if you press play in the editor and move around your character with WASD, you'll see that it will um, look like it is moving and then if you press space it will jump up and it looks like it's jumping. Now let's select the character again and this time we will take out the animation and you can do this by selecting it under the details panel you'll find the animation tab and there there is something called anim class. So select that and just uh, there is a drop down menu and select none. So now if we press play, you'll see that pressing WASD still moves the character, but and pressing space, it still goes up. But what it's doing is not visually representative of what these actions supposed to be. So now that we have talked about the importance of being able to set up animations in the engine, the next question is how do we actually set up the animations? But before we do that, let's just bring back the animation on our character. So again, go to the animation tab uh, under details panel and select, uh, click on the drop down menu close to the anim class and select uh, third person anim BP. So, in order to learn how to animate, first we need to go through some definitions. And these are Unreal Engine for Animation Editing Toolset, which is called Persona, the concept of skeleton and skeletal mesh, animation sequences, animation blueprints and blend spaces. We will go through the first three points here in this episode and the last two points which are animation blueprints and blend spaces we'll look at the next episode. Okay, so what is Persona? As I said, Persona is the animation editing toolset in UE4 and we'll be working most of the time in Persona when we are animating in the engine. So, to see how Persona looks like, just select your player character and close to the Anim class there is a looking glass icon. Just click on that. And if you look under the content browser, you'll see a bunch of assets. The first one from the left is called third person and MVP. Double click on that. And now we are in Persona. This is a multi-purpose tool that contains several different panels. As you can see at the top right of the screen. We can edit skeletal sockets from here. We can look at the mesh. We can preview animation sequences and we can also access the animation blueprint which is actually what drives the animations. 
We start with the concept of skeletons and skeletal meshes, which are two separate things in UE4. To find these for the third person character, go to your content browser and you'll find a folder called mannequin. And under there, there is a folder called character. And there is another subfolder called mesh. Here you'll find two separate, as two separate assets for the mesh and the skeleton for this character. The first one from the left is the mesh and the last one is the skeleton. Double click on the skeleton asset to open it. A skeleton is basically a hierarchy of bones which is used to deform our character mesh to animate it. So, in order to see the skeleton, click on the show button uh, at the top of the editor or the viewport and then you will see a drop down menu under mesh, untick mesh. And what you see here now is the character skeleton. So to the right side here you have something called a skeleton tree and this skeleton tree tab contains all the skeletons and the hierarchy of these uh, all the bones and the hierarchy of the bones that your skeleton contains. You can select the bones by just selecting each one of them here in the skeleton tree tab panel or you can just select them in the viewport on the skeleton itself and the right skeleton will be selected in the skeleton tree now the skeletal mesh so the skeletal mesh is basically the model that is attached to this skeleton so if you go to show again and clear, go to hierarchy and bone and then uh, select selected only and then go to mesh and tick mesh so this is our skeletal mesh this is basically what you see when you play the game it is very important to note that the animations in ue4 are not applied to the mesh they are actually applied to the skeleton. What that means is that you can set up the animation for one skeleton and use them for different skeletal meshes as long as they have the same skeleton. So the character can look different than this, but if it has the same skeleton, the animations would still work. Another important thing is that when your character blueprints, you don't choose skeletons on them, you choose the skeletal mesh. So if you look at your if you select your character blueprint, your player, and then under the details panel, look at the mesh section, you'll see skeletal mesh, but no skeleton. The skeleton is actually applied to the uh, skeletal mesh. So, moving on to the next subject, which is animation sequences. An animation sequence is a single animation asset that can be played on a skeletal mesh. So if you go to your mannequin folder on the, under content browser, you'll find the animation folder. And there you have a lot of assets. Just click on the first one from the right and you'll see an animation. And this is basically an animation asset. You can animation sequence. And you can see that we, had en we have ended up on the animation tab in Persona as well. Down to the right, you will see the asset browser. Here, all animation available for the skeleton you're using are shown. So you can see, for example, walking you have here. You can select running. You can select idle and all the other ones. By the way, the green, the assets with the green line below them, they are the animation sequences. So, now that we have looked at these 
three concepts. The next question is, how do we create these in UE4? Well, animation sequences, skeletons and meshes are made in other programs outside UE4 and then imported into the engine. But what you can do is uh, you can migrate these assets between different projects and also you can export them to your computer. So let's start with migrating. So you do this by selecting an asset, whatever it is. It can be a mesh, a skeleton or a animation sequence. Just right click and then you'll have a drop down menu. Go to asset actions and here you have something called migrate under move. Click on migrate and you will be presented with a new window here in a moment and these are all the assets that will be migrated together with this animation sequence so if you press ok you have to go to your uh, project folder that you want this to be migrated to whatever it is and it is very important that you select the content folder under the project folder otherwise you might run into problems and just click OK and the asset will be sent to your project. You can also export assets to your computer and then drag and drop them back into your project. Doing that is quite easy the same way that we did the migrating and it's just the difference is under move you'll find export and click on that and then you can just assign a place you want the asset to be exported to so how do we bring these exported assets back so if we look at the skeleton first I have a bunch of animation sequences and a skeleton on my desktop so let's start with the skeleton I'll just draw, drag and drop it back into my editor and you'll be presented with a menu here or with a new window here. So it is important to tick import as skeletal, import mesh, leave skeleton empty and also it is important that you there is like an arrow here under mesh so click on that and normal import method should be import normals and after that just click on import all to bring everything into your browser just ignore the message that you get that is fine so you can see that i have the mesh i have the skeletal mesh and the materials used for the mesh here so next, let's import an uh, animation sequence. Again, the same thing, drag and drop it inside. Here you will see a window. There will be a skeleton tab. Just select the skeleton that you want this animation to apply to. For example, we get the mannequin that we, I mean the starting skeleton that comes with the project and just Click on import all and it will be sent in. So that's it for this time. In the next episode we'll continue with the basics of animating in UE4 and focus on animation blueprints. Which are quite important since these are what drive the animations of our characters in UE4. Thanks for watching. Leaving a thumbs up on the video is much appreciated. And also, if you want to help me keep up this channel, please share these videos on your social media if you can to spread the word. Also, feel free to leave uh, your comments and questions in the comment section below. Peace out.